Hi guys, I'm John, I'm here at the gun shop and today we're going to be having a look at this little sabbati. Something we don't see regularly here in the gun shop. So, let's, I'll pop it open and have a look. It comes in a nice green ABS case. Comes with a rather small and militaristic looking choke affair. Let's open her up, put her together and have a look. So, this particular one is the Alpen Eagle. Not the Alpine Eagle, as we have generally been calling it, the Alpine Eagle, uh, like your breakfast cereal. It's a nice, little, fairly modest, sleek, inexpensive, but very, very good looking side plate shotgun. So this one is in a 20 bore, comes with three inch chambers. And actually, isn't hideous at all, it's really nice. Um, so let's have a little look over it. We have wooden butt plate, hand finish to the gun, true oil finish stock in a sort of grade three. They have sort of gone over the checkering with whatever sort of finish they've put on the stock here, which sort of filled the truck up a bit, that's a little bit of a shame. You have manual safety, you've got to check that. But I expect if you ordered it in a game spec, it might come with automatic. You have a fairly nicely but clearly machine engraved deep acanthus scroll with a flying pheasant. And on the other side you have similar with a duck and his little buddies. On the bottom, a woodcock. Everyone likes a little bocaccia. Ooh, very pleasant actually. With Alpen Eagle. Good looking gun. And I quite like acanthus. It's, it's kind of a love it or hate it thing. And although it's not the nicest done thing in the world because it's, you know, it's not an overly expensive gun, it actually is a lovely pattern, it's a lovely pattern. Going on we have a fairly aggressive Schnabel forend, however it's sort of it's a little bit over rounded on the front there and it's lacking in finish but again it's an inexpensive gun. Quite a nice step up rib and that I believe is what lends itself to that very easily presented thing, that sort of semi high rib there. Multi choke, 20 bore, it is a bit front heavy but actually Everything is really sleek and slim at the back here. The grip is absolutely lovely. Yet it's also very long and it fits my hand really nice. So you know it could fit a smaller hand very well as well. So just a quick little showing you this Alpen Eagle. I believe they're about 13, 1400 pounds. They're not serious money for a gun that looks this good. I haven't shot one, couldn't tell you how it shoots but it is a good looking gun for the money. It handles nice, a very slim grip, though it's a shame that's not emulated in the forend. Little catch release forend there. Let's pop it apart, put it back, take it back away. You're getting a lot of gun for your money in terms of looks, and it comes up quite nicely, it specs quite sensibly. Hey, why not? If you're after something a bit off brand and a bit different, you won't go too far wrong. Certainly a nice venture into a good looking 20 ball without spending double E double L money. I really quite like it, though I'd like to shoot it, and I'm sure that you're going to come across maybe some, some issues with reliability. However, we actually sold this gun nearly a year ago and we haven't had any problems with it. I sold a few Sabatis and never had any problems with them. They're fairly reliable as brands go. Certainly worth a look. And uh, if we can take the opportunity to take this out and show you how it shoots, we will do. Thanks for watching.